Okay everyone, so I'm loaded up here at Nan's Cove. I'm going to go out and see if I can catch something for lunch tomorrow. Maybe a couple white perch. Maybe a catfish. Let's find out what's going to happen. It's April 21st. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I've got a falling tide here. This is Fishing Southern Maryland. Wish me luck. Here in the state of Maryland, during this whole uh, concern about the coronavirus, uh, kayaking has been deemed a form of exercise. So we are allowed to do that. And we are allowed to fish as long as we are trying to provide sustenance for ourselves or for our families. That's why you've seen me say in a couple of the last videos that I'm going to take this one home with me. Um, I haven't done a catch and cook or anything like that because you know, I wouldn't do that until I have multiple fish to, to have. Who knows? Maybe this one will turn into one if I can catch, you know, multiple white perch that are big enough to keep or something like that. But we'll find out. Let's get out into the main part of the, the river here at Nance Cove and see if we can catch some. There's my setup. A piece of shrimp on a number two hook tied to a little loop or tied to a little ring, a bead, and a half ounce steel sinker. I'm trying to go to steel and tin rather than lead. Let's put this out there while we tie on the anchor. There's fish number one. On the piece of shrimp. That's a white perch. He's what? Maybe six inches long? I'm sorry, he's. Get down there. He's eight inches long. I'd like them a little bit bigger to take. But if that's all I'm going to be catching, then I will start taking some. Okay. That's a little better. This might be our catfish. Oh yeah. That's what it is. That's our catfish. We'll take this one home with us today. Got the stringer all ready. Yeah. There we go. We'll take him home. Hook right there in the top of his lip. see if I don't do the same thing that I did to a bluegill over the weekend. There we go. He's on. As long as he doesn't pull off that stringer, I'm okay. Oh, that one just broke off, and I bet you it took everything. No, my hook is still there. Oh, that was a good fish, whatever that was. Ugh. Okay. This one's still a little better. I don't think it's as big as I want it to be. But it's a striper. It's a little striper. A little rock fish as they call them here in Maryland. Huh! Haven't caught one of those yet this year. No. Striper. Got another coming up. White perch. Still a little small. I'd like them to be about another inch and a half bigger.
So I don't know if you can tell by the leaves blowing on that tree, but the wind has come back. We had a little front come through with a little bit of drizzle and everything. Nothing really to get me wet anything. But now the winds have come. So it's coming up on 6 o'clock, so I've been out here for two hours. And I caught some fish. That striper, of course, had to go back. Number one, it wouldn't have been big enough anyway, because it was only 10 inches. But here in Maryland, I think there's a moratorium right now, is what they're referring to it on, on catching striped bass anyway. Um, I don't think you're allowed to catch or keep any type of striped bass um, until May or mid of May. So I'll, I'll look it up and I'll put it more in the, uh, in the, in the details or in the description. Uh, but I am taking home one catfish. Um, it will be tomorrow's lunch. So I'm happy about that. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so, click subscribe. You should be able to click one of the banners that's going to come up right about now. And until next time, tight lines.